She's progressing herself daily. So, I mean, it's really, she has no boundaries. This Norton mom has a lot to love today when it comes to her daughter's improving health. In October, Emma Fouts collapsed at her homecoming dance and spent months in a coma. And as Andrew Horansky explains, today she's awake, talking, and even reading Valentine's. Christina Wigand calls it a miracle. Yeah. Her 16-year-old daughter, Emma Fouts, once asleep in a medically induced coma. Good girl, Emmy. Now awake and communicating, eye gazing on an iPad which moves a mouse. And she moves it to whatever she wants to say on there. So the first time she said, um, you know, I'm fine, let's go home. So <laughs> her personality keeps coming through. It is back and in full force. I mean, she is humming to, you know, her music. She's kind of wiggling her shoulders when she's playing music. They play music for her all during her whole therapy. Which is every day except Sunday. Still, there is much to overcome. So we did ask her um, kind of if she knew why she was here. She said she knew why she was here. She said asthma, her asthma. Um, she remembers, and then we kind of stopped her because we don't know how traumatizing that will be to her to have that conversation anymore. While the conversation today centered on love and support, Emma receiving piles of Valentines, even a visit from a therapy dog, all paving the way to the day she comes home. Which is still far off. Now her mom says the next big milestone will be getting Emma to sit up by herself and she hopes of course she will walk one day. She turns 17 next week and there is now a campaign to send her birthday cards. She's already hearing from people as far away as Australia and New Zealand. If you would like Emma to hear from you, Sarah, there is a link at WKYC.com for how you can write. She has inspired so many people already. We just hope her progress continues. All right. Yep. Thanks, Drew. Sure.